I'm going to be as forthcoming as I can be. You're here because we need your help. We know that you've been contacted by a certain individual. A man who calls himself... Game Changer! And whatever you think you know about this man is irrelevant. He is considered by many authorities to be the most dangerous man alive. And all that we're asking in return is your cooperation in bringing a known terrorist to justice. You can't scare me with this Gestapo crap. I know my rights. I want my phone call. What good is a phone call if you're unable to speak? This line is tapped, so I must be brief. Now do you still want to meet? Hey yo, what it do? It's your boy J. Lou, and you are just in time for something new. All right, y'all already know the deal. I'm about to go get chopped up by game changing and everything like that. What I did was I drove up to Dallas, you know what I'm saying? I'm about to leave my hotel room because it's almost time. I'm almost late, you know what I'm saying? So let's go straight to the shop right now. Thing. Okay. Oh yeah. Don't tell back for me, look at that. But yeah, I'ma tell you one thing, I'm gonna pause you right there, bro. I just I, before you came, I studied your uh your IG and your YouTube videos, bro. You got an epic crown, bro. You know what I'm saying? The, the, the rotation in your crown is and I mean to the very tip of the crown, bro. I've seen some great crowns. Yeah. But I'm talking about when I say to the tip of the top top, you know what I'm saying? It's, oh, yeah, that's, yeah, that's it right there, bro. Appreciate it. Yeah, bro. And that light, I tell my shimmer and shine, my boy, shimmer. Yeah, appreciate it, man. Like, oh, look at that, bro. Golly. Oh, yeah, bro. I'm going to turn you right back around real quick. Tilt back from a little bit, right? Yeah, bro. Yeah, bro, that's it, man. All right, now one thing I want to point out, if you want to check out the full tutorial, make sure you go to Game Changers channel. But typically in the past when I would go to barbershops, they would ask me to comb my pattern. But the fact that he studied how my hair grows in the in direction of my waves, it kind of separated him from a lot of the barbers in the past. And he basically combed it himself the right way. The reason why I'm highlighting this is because when it comes to getting waves, combing your hair and brushing your hair in the right angles is very important. And the last thing a barber should do is comb your pattern in the wrong direction. That's just a tip just for you barbers you, from a waver's perspective. If you don't know which way to comb, always ask them to comb their hair by themselves. All right, now as you guys can see, one thing I wanna point out is I'm getting my hair cut against the grain. Now when I came to the shop, the first thing he asked me when it came to the cut is what do you want? I told him I wanted a five against the grain and we got on the subject of, okay, what's the best cut do you feel for waivers? Y'all yeah, already know my opinion, but he basically said he feels against the grain haircuts are the best for waivers. It keeps your hair even. But typically whenever he gets waivers in the chair and he asks them how do they want their hair cut, they feel as if an against the grain haircut will cut off all their progress, you know? so. I told him, I said, I want to go against the grain just to be able to show people that you actually can get your hair cut against the grain and leave the shop looking fresh. So I saw, uh, for I heard me a few waivers, and I want to see, do you do the same? So you never blind brush? Nah, I'm a vet, man. Okay, that's it, so you, so you can't? Yeah, I okay. can because I know my angles. Okay. 
I don't encourage beginners. I always tell people don't blind brush because most people that watch my videos are beginners. But when you're a vet, you know what you're doing, you can blind brush. Alright, so what I wanted to highlight at this part right here is this is probably the most critical part when it comes to tapering the back because there's a difference between somebody that has waves and there's somebody that's a waver. Typically somebody that has waves, they don't care if you cut their waves out or not, you know what I'm saying? But when it comes to a waver, most of the time they want their waves to go from their crown all the way to their hairline. So with that being said, when it comes to back tapers, a lot of times we won't tell barbers, hey, give me a low taper, give me a mid, uh, mid taper in the back, give me a high taper. We'll basically tell them, hey, just give me a taper and end it wherever my waves start. So the most essential part for the barber is being able to have the skill and the competency to be able to decide exactly where those waves start and make sure that they don't cut the waves out. If you know any true waivers, you will know that they hate getting their waves cut out. You know what I'm saying? So it is very vital for the barber to be able to figure it out. You know what I'm saying? And even if it's necessary, basically show them, hey, this is where I plan on starting it and stopping it. That'll definitely help you give uh, your, your client a cut that they're looking for when it comes to a waiver. Now, one thing I want to point out, and I'll make sure I link a video above, but a lot of people may think that I have nicks in the back of my head. But one thing I want to point out is somebody that has curly hair as a waver sometimes what happens is at different angles my hair just has these patches or it looks like these nicks in them no matter what you know what i'm saying so at the end of the day i wanted to make sure i made a comment on that because i know people be looking to criticize and everything like that but all right now at the finishing that back taper as you guys can see that mug is looking crispy and clean you know what i'm saying but this is the taper that is the most important when it comes to myself and most waivers because i personally love low tapers when it comes to waves and the reason why i say that is as a barber if you start off with a mid or a high taper what you may notice is you'll cut more of the person's waves out but if you start off with a low taper you have more room to work with you know what i'm saying one thing that a lot of waivers understand is that our sides they grow in different and one thing i've been teaching people is that your hair texture, your curl pattern, and all that clearly on the sides is very different. As for me, on my sides, I have a way different grade of texture of hair. It's a lot more straighter, it's a lot more fine, it's a lot, it's a lot thinner. So when I want my taper, I already know most of my waves are not gonna go all the way to my hairline. But I want a low taper to basically to highlight my waves and everything of that nature. And because I have a beard, I told him I said, look, I want a bald taper in the middle of my ear and then a low taper on the top and then fade it off into my beard you know what i'm saying and bro he just killed it you know like i didn't really go into too much detail but he just killed it i'm just hoping that like way wise my way to something you said oh no that's not right there I mean, yeah, sometimes yeah, when yeah, people be yeah. wolfing long they hear me looking just bad people don't realize that that's why i have to cut that's the only thing about the wolf video like i want to put that put that new rag on afterwards because you don't understand that she stands up. Yeah, yeah bro. you know, been so long. That's why I keep brushing the thread off. Yeah, you know what I'm trying to give it some relaxation. Now it's just crazy to me, and it's very refreshing because, man, a lot of times when you go to a barber shop and you talking to barbers, it's like they have this this arrogance about them to where they don't want to listen to what you got to say. They think they know everything. Now I'm not saying all barbers. I'm just saying that there are some barbers that I've experienced like that, and you try to tell them what you want. And they give you what they want, you know what I'm saying? But the fact that not only, like I said earlier, he was combing my hair right, but as you can see, he's brushing my angles the right way as well. You know what I'm saying? A lot of barbers can't do that. And that's just one reason why I gotta give respect where it's due.
All right, we got in a conversation basically about perfection. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people believe in this concept of perfection and everything like that. And most people don't understand that perfection is something that humans, we create. When you look at nature, there's not a lot of things that are perfectly made. So and the reason why I'm saying all of this stuff is I told him straight up. I said, I know for myself, I embrace my naturally slender hairline. You know what I'm saying? People be trying to chop me up in the comments all day and every. But to be honest with you, everybody has a naturally slender hairline. I'm going I'm to make a video in the future just going into the details. But because I know that this showcases his portfolio and his work, I told him, I was like, bro, I don't want you putting this on there because people going to be like, oh, you didn't even uh, edge his front line up and everything like that. But me personally, I just embraced it. You know what I'm saying? Other people will try to clown me forward. At the end of the day, other coaches embrace their hairlines and things of that nature. And it's like when it comes to uh, black people, when we get hairlines and edge ups, we got to have a perfect line. If it's not perfect, then people are ready to chop you up. And I'm like, bro, that stuff is corny to me. You know what I'm saying? So that's one little thing I just wanted to say about this aspect right here of the clip. But I'm going to go ahead and roll, roll the rest of the footage right now. So what's up people signing to these agencies? Why do they need that? It's like the rap game, bro. It's basically like that. The, 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 yeah, I'm like, I'm yeah, good. I'm good. Self promotion is the best promotion. Yeah, you know. I don't like to, to me and you, we make the videos, we make the memes, we make the this, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. It takes more time. It does. It takes more brain space, too. I look at it like it's ownership. Royalty, yeah. masters. Yeah. I own that. Nobody taking a foot out of my any of this. Sure. Yeah, everything great, bro. <laughs> I'm happy you like it, man. That's a, that's a far drive to you know, gotta make sure it's a Bro, this is hands down the best cut I've had. Really? Yeah. Nah, bro. See, if they, that's true words. Yeah. That means a lot to you, bro. For real. Because I been cutting my own hair since I was a junior in high school. Oh, okay. And every now and then I go to different barbers. But, bro, they don't have cut ways, man. You know, bro, I have to make sure you know. And, and, it's, you. It's, and it's crazy, bro, not to say, like, no, it's usually, this is just, a, this is my first time cooking, too. So now, I, I got to study you more, so. Yeah. You know, bro. It's like a boxing match, man. Yeah, exactly, bro, yeah. It's like you can score all day, but you ain't gonna know until you get that match. Yeah, true. The next time I have to come to Houston and cut you up, bro, we're gonna have to find a spot out there, bro. Yeah. We're about to run it back again, man. Yeah. I'm happy you like it, bro, yeah. Yeah, man, enjoy it, bro. Yeah, nah, for real, you think I'm finished, too. Everything good? Yeah, everything good, bro. Good. That fades. I'm just looking at it. No, nah, I'm like, man, that fade is great. Perfect, bro. I'm happy you like it, bro. Because it's, it's natural. It's like blended. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Like, that was the look that I wanted to go for, bro. Like,. All right, fam. So I just wanted to bless you with this suitcase right quick. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. With the contents in the suitcase. So uh, not the whole suitcase. Not the whole suitcase, <laughs> man. So just go ahead and open that bad boy. Uh, put some million dollars up in that thing. Okay. A nice suitcase. Oh man. Oh yeah. That's it's beautiful right here. Yeah, man. All three, they, all three bro. I nah, appreciate that. You got the soft, and then you got two medium brushes, man. So, so look, look, this is this is nah, I love this brush. You know what I'm saying? It's, oh, yeah. Man. Now that one right there, we call it the Black Panther joint. Oh yeah. That's a royalty brush. Oh, it's royalty. Uh, yeah, royalty. I, you know? I, I got a, I got, I got a little Torino right here, but this is a royalty brush. Man. Yeah. I, I ain't probably got much up there. Let me just go on it. You gotta step into the sunlight, man. You know what I'm saying? Right, man, Get out there. Man, man, <laughs> Things man. hidden, bro. Nah, no, appreciate that, bro. For real, man. Yeah, really man. Do, man. For sure, for sure, bro. Thanks, man. Appreciate that, bro. In the first 48, I chose to pimp the pen. Reminiscing my ghetto dreams and still tip in. Do Come the on. Stops, I to want to be a bowler. Breaking them off, swinging and banging in the candy and polo. Uh. Let me slow it down to help you see. I wrote this with classic hits from the 713. Let know. June 27, so the world we wasn't playing. These eight time boys don't keep the world saying. I got the power to do the wild.